Illumina Zeraz is a merciless Necron cryptic, a bio-architect who seeks to unravel the mysteries of life itself. On the battlefield, he preys upon living specimens and applies his anatomical knowledge to better refine and enhance the Necron form. In the late 41st millennium, Zeraz still strives towards this goal and is always hungry for information that still eludes him. The knowledge that Zeraz possesses is so vast that despite being hated by the majority of his race, the gains and benefits he can grant to the Necrons are so potent that few among the commanding nobility will refuse his assistance. The mighty star gods, known as the Catan, may have deceived the Necron tier in their search for immortality, but it was Zeraz's twisted genius that ultimately made the process of biotransference a reality, and hence condemning the entire Necron tier civilization to an eternity of undeath. Even then, Zeraz saw the sacrifice of his people as the first of several steps on the path to ascension, a journey that would end as a creature not of living flesh or soulless metal, but as an immortal being of pure energy. Until that day, Zeraz strives to take full advantage of his new, living metal form, which he considers far superior to his original body. No longer is he bound by the frailties of living flesh, and without such burdens, he can dedicate and focus his energy into unpicking the mysteries of life. After countless centuries of absorbing knowledge, Zeraz has made startling progress. The secrets of life seem within his grasp, the same secrets wielded by the all-powerful star gods. However, a far deeper understanding exists which still escapes him. Perhaps some concepts in the universe can't be revealed by the mere application of logic alone, and to fully understand the soul, the observer must also walk among the living. Whatever the reason, Zeraz fears that these secrets will forever remain beyond his comprehension. This is something he will never accept. Illuminor Zeraz's form is highly unique and different to any conventional Necron, having enhanced his own mobility by replacing his humanoid legs with a set of spider-like arachnid limbs. However, like all Necrons, Zeraz's body is constructed out of a metallic substance known as Necrodermis, or living metal. This advanced material was first created over 60 million years ago by the ancient race of the Necron tier, who used it to construct their massive sub-light starships for exploring the far reaches of the galaxy. It was later adapted to create the physical shells for the Catan to inhabit, and then eventually, the Necron tier themselves after they agreed to have their souls transferred from their short-lived organic bodies, hence creating the legions of undying Necrons. Necrodermis is highly adaptive and has extraordinary regeneration characteristics. It can repair itself from almost any sustained damage. It flows back together like a metallic liquid, closing bullet holes, mending scrapes and tears, and can even reattach severed pieces with incredible speed. Thanks to such advanced and robust technology, Zeraz's body can withstand and recover from an incredible amount of punishment. Zeraz carries a powerful cryptex staff, known as an Eldritch Lance. The weapon is capable of firing a super-concentrated beam of energy at significant range, which is made possible by the focusing crystals that protrude from its flared ends. The energy beam can pierce almost any type of armour, and emits a harsh, cracking scream as it tears through the air. Upon impact, the victim is instantly vaporised in a flash of unholy energy. For those rare occasions when Zeraz finds himself engaged in close combat, his Eldritch Lance is used as a spear-like power weapon that slices opponents apart with minimal effort. Zeraz stalks the war zones of the 41st millennium like a restless fiend. 
His search for answers and knowledge requires a constant flow of living subjects, which he acquires through reaping from the battlefield or by efficiently trading captives in exchange for his expertise. Though unravelling the secrets of life is his primary obsession, Zera's aptitude for augmenting the weaponry and even the mechanical bodies of his fellow Necrons is beyond compare. Centuries of delving into the form and function of the creatures that inhabit the galaxy has taught Zeraz how to advance almost every facet of Necron machinery. Improved targeting optics, complex phase disruption field technology, and enhanced armor plating configurations are but a few of the many thousands of such advances made possible by his relentless dissection of his test subjects. Many of the Necron dynasties will pay any price for Zera's unique talents, which often involves invading a targeted planet of his choosing and harvesting the resources and technical knowledge of its population. Out of all the living beings Zeras has harvested, subjects from the ancient race of the Eldari have proven to yield the most interesting results. However, few Necron overlords are willing to infringe on Eldari territory for reasons beyond strategic gain, making such specimens the hardest of all for Zeras to acquire. When the occasion does arrive, Zeraz can be found leading his personal harvesting squad in part of the first wave of the Necron Assault, picking his way through promising test subjects that form part of his payment. Once captured, the specimens harvested from the battlefield are transported to his laboratory, located deep within the shadowy tomb world of Xantragora. Zeraz believes the knowledge he seeks resides only in the living, and so, the majority of experiments are carried out with the victim kept alive by banks of stasis machinery. Agonizing screams can be heard echoing throughout the dark, blood-stained halls of his operating chamber as they are utterly mutilated, but this noise is of no consequence to Zeraz, as he feels no remorse for such inferior lifeforms. Luckily for other living beings, Illuminor Zeras thinks of battle as a waste of his valuable time and resources, and he only participates when fresh specimens are required for his studies. Like many scientists, Zeras is not the most fearsome of opponents when in combat, and relies heavily upon the unholy resilience of his necrodermis body and the potency of his advanced war gear. However, Zeras's most dangerous weapon lies not in his fighting ability, but in his unparalleled knowledge of organic anatomical structure, which he applies towards drastically enhancing the combat potential of a Necron battle line. He has the unique ability to mechanically augment the dynasty's warriors and immortals, enhancing their strength, resilience, or ballistic skill to levels previously unheard of creating a truly unstoppable army of soulless killing machines. <laughs>